Welcome to a brief tutorial of the altcoin.io atomic swap wallet. When you first open the altcoin.io atomic swap wallet, you're going to want to generate a new wallet or import an existing wallet. To do this, click create wallet and you'll be given 12 words that you'll want to write down which will save your account in case you lose it or you want to access it on another computer. And this is how we store your account information with inside the Atomic Swap wallet. Now, once I have created my wallet, the next thing I'm going to want to do is add testnet tokens to my wallet. And to do that, there's some recommended Bitcoin faucets and Ethereum faucets and other faucets for testnet tokens are available on these other tokens but in this example i'm going to show you how to acquire bitcoin and ethereum so acquiring bitcoin testnet tokens is fairly easy i'm going to copy my wallet address and move over to a testnet faucet where i'm going to request some testnet bitcoins and what testnet tokens mean is they're essentially testing tokens so they don't have any real value, but they still allow you to test out the Atomic Swap wallet and see your transactions confirm. Now that I have added Bitcoin testnet tokens to my Atomic Swap wallet, I'm going to want to add some Ethereum testnet tokens as well. So the process for this is similar as well, and there's many services that offer testnet Ethereum tokens. And the way to acquire these is you simply want to enter in your wallet address, but make sure you leave the 0x at the beginning of the address. And in this example, I'm using the RinkyBuy authenticated faucet. And once I post this tweet, I want to go back to my Twitter account, grab the tweet that I just made, copy the link, take it over to the Rinky by faucet, and I'm just going to ask for three ethers. And now this is going to fund my account with three Ethereum. Now, after I filled up my wallets with testnet tokens, I'm going to confirm the amount. And as you can see, I have one Bitcoin and three Ethereum in this account. And I have a separate browser open with a, another atomic swap wallet in which I'm going to conduct a transaction between this wallet here, which you can think as party number two. And as you can see, we have a ton of different tokens that we've added to our Atomic Swap wallet, and we're going to continue adding more and more tokens over the upcoming weeks. But in this example, I'm going to go ahead and transact an Atomic Swap for a small amount of Bitcoin for a small amount of Ethereum. But if I wanted to, I could atomically swap any one of these tokens that you see here. So I'll type in 0 0.25, click start. And right now this is peer to peer. So to transact this, you wanna copy this link and I'm gonna send it over to a second party. And when this is received, Party number two can see that they're giving 0 0.39 Ethereum in return for 0 0.25 Bitcoin. And we use fair market price values, so you can see the values at the bottom as well. And once I click agree, this is what starts the atomic swap. So if I move back to party number one, you'll see that the atomic swap has started and on this side it is participating in the atomic swap, which I had just conducted. So this is party number two and then party number one. And it's important to note that you need to have your computer open while these transactions take place or they will fail. And what's really special about atomic swaps is essentially what you're doing is you're removing the middleman. So when you think about centralized exchanges and you have to deposit Bitcoin into the exchange, this allows you to transact two different types of cryptocurrencies with other individuals in an extremely trustless manner. 
And as you can see, the atomic swap has completed. Typically, it'll take one to two minutes for an atomic swap to complete, depending on your internet connection, as well as the other party's connection. But once it's completed, you have your tokens, and the other party has their tokens, and there was no middleman that was necessary to complete the transaction. And this is really why we believe atomic swaps are the future of cryptocurrency trading, because they allow for a trustless way for you to transact cryptocurrencies without having a third party, a central service that is the middleman between the transaction. And if you'd like to learn more about atomic swaps or altcoin.io, check us out on our blog to learn more about atomic swaps, decentralized exchanges and why they're important, and more about our project and how you can stay tuned with the updates that we're continuing to push out into the market.